It doesn't look clean. I cleaned my room. You don't care, do you? Welcome, guys. This is day two of the Atkins two-week challenge. Do, 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 do. Two days. This is day two. So, day twos. This is day two. Day two, day two. Daytona. Daytona, drink your water. So, first thing that I wanted to cover today, and the most important thing, I think. Let me see if I can get this. Let's come down here. The first thing I wanted to cover was that I think it's extremely important that you measure your quantities, your portions, everything. People say each and every day that, oh yeah, I'm doing about this, I'm doing about that. No. Especially on this challenge, you need to be specific. If it says two tablespoons of ranch, I know you don't want to see that, but that was my two tablespoons of ranch, and I am not any different from you. I think in my mind that I can somehow measure it, and it's just not real. <laughs> you're not you're not going to be accurate. As time goes by, if you measure, 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 yes, you will become more accurate over time. But you can't just wing it all the time, and trust me, that makes sense, or that makes uh um, it makes a big difference. People are asking me every day, do I have to count calories, blah, 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 blah. No. But on the flip side of that, if you're adding, you know, an extra tablespoon, uh, yeah, that could be 60, 70 more calories that you're adding on to your daily regimen. So you need to be really careful about that. Yes, uh, it doesn't matter as far as eating um you know, the fats or whatever, but if you're eating too much of something, and this is probably going to sound crazy, is I want you to clean the environment you are most in most often throughout the day. So, clearly, this is where you always see me. I'm always at my desk. I'm always working on stuff. Uh, I'm always editing videos or whatever. And I cleaned my area. And I realized um, my mind had completely let go of all the distractions and everything. And I literally thought about my goal. I'm like, hey, I don't have anything on my desk. Let's grab a bottle of water and stick it there. And I was like, you know what? I feel really refreshed. I feel, feel good about my environment, my area, less stress. Um, everything was really, really, really nice. So I think a clean and safe environment, um, free of, you know, candies or chips or whatever you had before, doesn't even matter. But what it matters now is that whatever area you're in most, make yourself feel better about it. Clean it up, you know, make it really nice, um, add some nice scents or whatever, and uh, worry about those things because uh, where you are most is going to affect you most so if that makes sense so clean up your environment I think it's important not only to your own personal health but um, just overall a good state of mind that's number two number three is pick out an outfit that you want to wear that you can't wear yet whether it's jeans for guys or it's a shirt for guys or if it's a blouse or if it's that tiny little black dress that you've been wanting to get into or a wedding dress or whatever, buy it. And buy it in the size that you want to be. And the reason I say that is because you are not going to work any harder if you buy a size that fits you now. People often make the mistake. Somebody asked the other day, I don't remember who, I think it was Isabel or uh, Isabel, not Esmeralda. I get the two names mixed up. Isabel asked, um, what do I do with the clothes that don't fit me anymore? Because she loses in tons of weight. And I said, donate them. Because you don't ever want to keep them around. Because then it's like, oh, just in case I gain my weight back, I got me some clothes. No. Nope. Cut that off. 
you want to get rid of those clothes. You don't want to have a fallback method because if you have a fallback method, you're going to fall back. <laughs> so make sure you get rid of those. Keep keep a pair like I think Sue or Jennifer or Debbie or somebody said, um, keep a pair to be able to look at what you uh, accomplished. But other than that, um, definitely don't keep any of that stuff around and go online, go shopping. Um, uh, for an outfit that you want to fit into not that you fit in now But even if it's for the challenge if you're trying to lose 10 pounds and you know what you're gonna uh, Your size is gonna be in in 10 pounds go shopping now I don't care get online the, the wish app. I mean you could buy like an outfit for like two dollars so Buy some jeans or something that you can work towards so that you can see those every day. Pin them on the wall if you have to. I don't care. Um, put them where you're going to see them constantly so you're constantly working towards that goal. A visual mindset on that sometimes helps people. I know it really helps me. So that being said, that's number three. Okay, guys, real quick. This is actually going to be my first fitness part of it. So I want you to just march in place, just kind of like a warm up. If you want, go ahead and walk in circles, walk for five minutes down the street. I don't care what it is. I just want you to warm up for at least a couple minutes. <coughs> just basically marching in place. I know it sounds silly, but if you're going to be able to get your body ready without creating injuries, you need to warm up first. Trust me, I don't like it. I like to go full blown, get my ass out there and do something. But as you can see, injury, 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 injury. I'm learning through my mad mistakes. So just keep marching. If you want to, march around in a circle if you're bored. <laughs> just got done running. <clears throat> my. I don't know what it was, pretty pathetic actually, three to four miles, and the whole time I'm staring at Archie's step goal. That freaking dude must seriously uh, walk 24-7. Okay, so legs apart, put your hands up, and obviously it looks funny I know because I can't lift my shoulder up all the way, and then just do your best to lean to the side. Hold it there a minute and then go back, lean and hold it there. I know, trust me, I'm not a super flexible guy, um, but it is good to warm up and you're also gonna get a nice little back exercise from that. You just do to a count of 10, hold it. Just hold it for a few seconds. And then two more. I feel like Richard Simmons over here. <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me right now. And one more, and back. And then go back to the march, keep it going. We're just trying to rack up five miles here, or five, five miles, five minutes of a good warm up for your body. It's important, and many of you, many, many of you that are watching this, this is probably the most exercise you've done in a while. And that's perfectly fine. If you want to stop with the warm up, sure, that's fine. But we're going to go into some jumping jacks. I'm going to move this so I don't hurt myself. And we're going to try. I have a hard time with jumping jacks because my shoulders are really messed up. But let's try for 25 jumping jacks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those of you that want to keep going, keep going. That's fine. Pause the video. Keep going. I want you to go back into stepping. I know it sounds silly, but you're getting a cardiovascular workout. This is actually more intense for me right now than my running was. So just keep stepping it out. And then we're going to go down and we're going to do some sit-ups. Many people, I don't know if you want to, but I want to see abs in this lifetime. Like seriously, I want abs. I want 
Okay guys, real quick, this is actually going to be my first fitness part of it. So I want you to just march in place, just kind of like a warm up. If you want, go ahead and walk in circles, walk for five minutes down the street, I don't care what it is. I just want you to warm up for at least a couple minutes. <laughs> basically marching in place. I know it sounds silly, but if you're going to be able to get your body ready without creating injuries, you need to warm up first. Trust me, I don't like it. I like to go full blown, get my ass out there and do something. But, as you can see, injury, 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 injury. I'm learning through my mad mistakes. So just keep marching. If you want to, march around in a circle if you're bored. <laughs> just got done running <clears throat> my I don't know what it was pretty pathetic actually three to four miles and the whole time I'm staring at Archie's step goal that freaking dude must seriously uh, walk 24-7 Okay, so legs apart, put your hands up, and obviously it looks funny I know because I can't lift my shoulder up all the way, and then just do your best to lean to the side, hold it there a minute, and then go back, lean and hold it there. I know, trust me, I'm not a super flexible guy, um, but it is good to warm up, and you're also going to get a nice little back exercise from that. You just do to a count of 10, hold it, just hold it for a few seconds, and then two more, I feel like Richard Simmons over here, <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at me right now, and one more, and back, and then go back to the march, keep it going, we're just trying to rack up five miles here, or five, five miles, <laughs> five minutes of a good warm-up for your body it's important and many of you many many of you that are watching this this is probably the most exercise you've done in a while and that's perfectly fine if you want to stop with the warm-up sure that's fine but we're gonna go into some jumping jacks I'm gonna move this so I don't hurt myself and we're gonna try I have a hard time with jumping jacks because my shoulders are really messed up but let's try for 25 jumping jacks so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four, twenty-five. So those of you that want to keep going, keep going. That's fine. Pause the video. Keep going. I want you to go back into stepping. I know it sounds silly, but you're getting a cardiovascular workout. This is actually more intense for me right now than my running was. So just keep stepping it out. And then we're going to go down and we're going to do some sit-ups. Many people, I don't know if you want to, but I want to see abs in this lifetime. Like seriously, I want abs. I'm going to walk you through I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what I do to get going. Um, so the first thing is just a nice solid stretch out as far as you can go. Just hold it there for a good 30 seconds. Yeah, my arm hurts too bad to hold it there for 30 seconds, but you got another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so I like to start with the bicycle, and all of you guys know it. I'm sure you did it in gym school. So ears are where you're holding your hands. You're not pulling on your ears. You're just literally holding them there and I want you to touch your elbow to your knee figuratively not actually one two three four five six eight nine 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And rest. If you made it to 10, cool, good job, that's awesome. If you made it to five, whatever, who cares? If you actually made it and you're still stretching, it's all good, it doesn't matter. You're getting active and that's the freaking important thing here, trust me. So we're gonna do 20 more of the bicycles. And this is for beginners. If you feel that you're past this, that's fine, keep going. So, one. And I went to 30, I believe. So, I don't know if you feel that, but I feel a burn now, so that's good. So, the next thing that I want you to do is leg lifts. And how I like to do them is I like to put my hands underneath my bottom, my tailbone, and hold your legs up in the air, if you can see that, and just lift them. One, go to 10, two, three, four, Five, six, ten. Okay, definitely feeling it now. And I think I'm probably gonna call it, call it somewhat good. Okay, so this is planking. Basically, it's a push up, but you're literally just holding on to your elbows onto the ground. So, you're in the push-up position, as you can see, but your hands would be like this if you were doing a push-up. So planking, what it is, is you're just holding these, make a fist, hold your fist, hold your body up in the air for a count of, let's do three sets of 20. Seven, six, five four three two one and good go down wait there for a few minutes all this is a nice core abdominal workout um, you should feel it by now because i do um, and actually this is not my regular routine but it's definitely effective if i feel it um, and we're going to go back up into the plank one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, keep going, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good job. One more, one freaking more. Get your ass moving. You guys keep up the good work. My shoulders are killing me. These are all new to my shoulder. I'll probably be bedridden after this tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Hold it, keep holding it if you can keep holding it. Just keep going. Okay, good job. So the key here is to hold your core as tight as you possibly can. Planking is a really good way to get uh, lots of abdominal exercises going. Or, uh, so I want you to, now that you're done, just if you can see that, almost like a push up but you're laying down, I want you to stretch out your core really good and just relax. Almost like them fancy yoga people do. I don't do yoga, but I would not be opposed to it. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, Camelia, speaking of which, she's out of town right now. She hasn't been on the post. You guys, I want you guys to know that, good job, that's it. That's literally it. I'm trying to uh, incorporate these little things throughout your day. If you do, uh, fitness plan already. That's awesome. Keep up the good work, but I want these this is day two I want this to be included in your fitness plan. I'll tell you what man like I'll be completely honest I was a grumpy ass son of a beep 
about an hour ago and I'm probably still grumpy. I'm in more pain, but um, I feel better about myself. I, I got in there and I exercised. Weight loss is one thing, but taking care of yourself, loving yourself and working out, um, those things are definitely important when you're changing your lifestyle. So uh, keep up the good work, you guys. This is day two. We're gonna incorporate some more exercises tomorrow. Let me know if you like them. I know this is new. Um, I'm just trying to get you guys up, get you guys active. Uh, keep up the good work. I'm proud of each and every one of you, seriously. I feel like um, this is probably the strictest I've ever been following. Excuse me, Atkins. Um, so, like, I literally was one single cup of coffee today. That, my friend, is all new to me. So, I've always done the big giant coffees, and I can feel it. I'm pretty um, lacking some energy today. I took a little nap a little while ago and stuff like that. And if you need to, do so. Take a nap, relax. A lot of the times, if you can't stop thinking about food and stuff, that's definitely going to help you a ton. Just take a nap, relax, close your eyes for a little bit, get your mind off it, and then by the time you wake up a half hour, hour later, maybe then it will be time to eat. So that's okay. You guys have a beautiful evening, or a beautiful day. This is day two. Keep up the good work. I want to see those 10s, 5s, 20s. I want to see those weight loss goals hit at the two week mark. I'm excited to see how well you guys do. Peace. Be stronger than your excuses, guys. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Can I do a heart? Can I do a heart? I don't know how to do it. Oh, I did a heart. I did a heart. It's a heart.